Hi everyone, so as I mentioned in my slides, I'm going to provide you with a tutorial. So you'll have the listed instructions in the slides. You can go step by step and you can take your time with it, but you also have a little bit of a visual of how we're going to set up our stained glass. So what I decided to do was I chose rosemary as a subject because that is one of the things that was grown in the medieval gardens in the cloisters. And also I wanted to create a a little bit more of a graphic effect. I wanted to have um, just a basic outline and then you can get more creative with your background for your stained glass. So our first step is going to be that you are going to decide what's going to be your background. So what I recommend is if you do have a piece of cardboard, it could be the back of an old notebook. Sometimes there's a piece of cardboard there or a composition notebook, something like that. In my case, I actually, all I had was a little bit of a heavier cardstock and this was the back page of one of my daughter's old projects that we didn't need anymore. So I just kind of created a circular shape with that. And all I did to do that was trace my masking tape. So that could be your first step. The other thing you're going to do too is use that same traceable piece, whatever it is, tape or a cup, something like that. Unbreakable, please. Um, and then you just lay that on top of your paper and that way you have a beginning um, frame to draw your rosemary. So we're going to start with that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that circle. I'm using my reference picture that I gave to you as well. And so that's, as you can see, kind of the shape of a tree because that is in fact the way that rosemary typically grows. So I'm going to just go ahead into my circle and I'm going to start with my trunk, which is essentially just a rectangular shape, as you know, pretty simple. And then you'll see that the roots are just kind of curved and you can just kind of make a little bit of a wavy line and if you want to start out by sketching that on the paper that's okay you can make the color more bold when you're done so you can go ahead and you can adjust that for your drawing style however you like to do that the best okay now the next step is after you've created your sketch which I have under here you'll see I'll kind of lift up a corner here what I did was I took my sketch, I put it underneath the piece of plastic. So this was just a plain piece of plastic wrap. And I went ahead and I taped down around the edges. My recommendation to you would maybe to give yourself a little more room around the edge than I did, just in case your plastic wrap is thin like mine is, it will stop it from ripping. So again, give yourself a little more of an edge before you put the tape down. The one thing I'm going to also suggest is that as you're creating these shapes, use almost like a, a paintbrush motion as you're working because I noticed, especially with, I have thin plastic wrap, so I just had to kind of gently tap it onto the surface. And I did have to go over my lines here, my edges, pretty, pretty well a couple times over. So just so you know, it will not just take the first time. It does take a little extra time to go through. So this is where we're going to add a little bit of texture to the background of where we're going to lay our stained glass. So again, you should have either cardstock like I have, or if you're lucky enough to have a piece of cardboard at home that you're able to use, that will be great too. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to take a piece of aluminum foil, being careful with that, and you're just gently going to crumple it a little bit. Nothing too much, you don't want to crumple it into a ball or anything like that. I'm just gently pressing it with my hands just so we have a little bit of a shiny effect. And as you know, with the way stained glass was made, it never has a smooth finish. It's always that um, kind of that ancient texture and it's going to add a little more interest to your project. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make that texture really uniform in the back as best we can. So it looks a little bit like this. So crinkled, but not crumpled. And then we're going to go ahead, you're going to take your piece of cardstock or cardboard, just gently place it like this, and then you're going to gently tuck it around the edges. You can go a little bit at a time like I am. So just going around the edges. And you can modify to the size. I just kind of estimated, so I probably have a little bit of extra. So you can also trim it if you need to, or just tear it as needed. So basically I've created the background for my stained glass and you can just make sure if you have extra like I do, you can either press it down really flat or like I mentioned, you can trim it as well. 
and then you're going to go ahead and just gently actually it looks like I did have just enough to make sure that I'm not ripping my plastic which was good and then you're just going to go ahead and bend it around the edge so as I'm working here you'll see I'm just going to try and use some of that tape and I can always trim it at the end I'm going to go ahead and just carefully wrap and this is why it's really important to give that step of waiting for your sharpie to dry because otherwise obviously your fingers will be spreading it all over the place so I let this dry probably for about 10 minutes before I started wrapping it around and you will need to use some more tape but this will at least help you bend and stick it just for the moment so you can nicely smooth it out. So you'll see basically what I did for the stained glass effect, you can see it pop a little bit more now that it's behind, the silver is behind it, is you can see I stuck with mainly triangular shapes. So with the triangular shapes, it gives that stained glass effect as we're going. So I'm gonna just twist that so you can see a little bit more. It's my kind of final press that I'm doing. Okay, as you can see here. So again, just now that it's all together, just to review very quickly the steps. Step one is to create your drawing, your little sketch. Again, it doesn't have to be detailed at all. In fact, we prefer that it be more graphic like this, just simple lines. Then you're going to go ahead Take whatever flat surface you have, it can even be a folder like this. You're going to take your sketch, you're going to take your piece of plastic, put it on top, and then give yourself some space to tape it around the outside. Then you're going to go ahead, you're going to trace over the rosemary leaves and lines. Again, you can let that sit for a little bit if you want to and come back to it. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to trace and create you are triangular shapes in the background with the black edge. Then I just picked a, pa a palette of basically three colors or so, some different shades, and I went ahead and blended them in behind and then let it sit for a few minutes. I crinkled up a little bit of paper. You can either do it when it's on there, like I said, or you can do it a little bit ahead of time, but just really gently like this. Wrap that around, and then like I showed you, that last step is just to kind of fold everything over the top. The very last step, if you want to, is you can take another piece of paper and you can glue it or double side tape along the back so it covers this. Or of course, you can lay it on something else so it's it's visible. So thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. Again, you can use this step by step along with the instructions. So I hope you're all doing well and I hope to see you all very soon. Take care.